Hello everyone, this is Kushagra. Welcome to our YouTube channel DevTown. If you like the content, do like, share and subscribe to our channel. So you'll be seeing a series of videos required for you to get a good understanding of web development. Students, in the previous video, we have talked about what is IDs, what is classes and what is the basic difference between the IDs and classes such as ID. One element should have only one ID and in for the classes, one HTML element can have multiple classes and one ID can be given to only one HTML element only whereas one class can be given to multiple html elements so we have talked about this in the detailed in the previous video so if you have not watched my previous video do watch that because all the videos are related to each other and i would be talking about that in the further videos as well so if you have not watched it do watch that and uh, link is there in the description so our today's topic is basically your html entity so let me just quickly create one html file that is your html underscore ent entities dot html and let me just quickly generate the boilerplate code and let me just stop the server and let me just start the server again as you can see the server is ready and the title is document let me just quickly change the title to html entities and let me just give one heading as well that is your html entities as you can see the title is there and the heading is also there and let me just create one div or two div with a class container that is multiplied by two sorry yeah as you can see the two div with a class container is there and let me just give one paragraph tag inside this and say just a second let me just add a paragraph tag and say this is a paragraph and in this also let me just give a one paragraph tag and say this is another paragraph and let me just show you as you can see it's working properly so you would be thinking like why i'm showing you this again because you already know what is div tag and what is this class and what is this paragraph tag so the main reason behind this is let me just give some spaces over there and now you would be thinking like there would be the output would be like this is another and then some spaces which i have given and yeah let some spaces and then the paragraph so let me just shift towards the output as you can see there is no space between the another and the paragraph uh, it's like this is another paragraph this is one whole sentence but what where are these spaces you now you would be thinking like there is some error or there is some mistake which i have done so there is nothing such mistake or there is nothing wrong going on so what happens such uh, students basically if you give any kind of an empty space into your html code the html basically ignores that so basically if you want to give any kind of um, say keyword or such as your say your pound symbol if you want to add a pound symbol into your html file or if you want to add a greater than or less than sign into your html file we use these html entities so if you want to add a space that is also done with the help of an html entities so let me just show you like how do we add a space so to add a space this is the first html entity that we would be talking that is your non-breaking space that is nvsp nbsp basically stands for non-breaking space and this is used to add a spaces into your html file and let me just quickly show you as you can see there is two space between the another and the paragraph but let me just add few more spaces and show you control c and control v and let me just show you as you can see there is now a big difference like a big space between another and a paragraph so that's how you add a space but this is not a good programming practice we can do it with the help of a padding and a margin that is the proper way we should follow but 
just for the information you should know what is html entities and what is non-breaking space so i have informed you but there are certain other uh, your entities which are very helpful and you can't perform that operation with the help of css let's say if you want to add a pound symbol so how you will add it say pound is written like this so how to add a pound symbol let me just say pound as you can see to add a pound symbol you use this and this is the html entity that we use let's say now you would you want to add say copyright symbols let's say copy right symbol is like this so to add a copyright symbol we use the html entity that is copy so as you can see this has added the copyright symbol as you can see now let's say you want to say that paragraph tag is written with the help of this p tag so how to to add this so let me just add one p tag and say this sorry let me just say paragraph is written like this and let me just add one more yeah as you can see if you want to show this this p tag into your output so how to do this so what what is happening now this is the p tag this is the opening p tag and from here your html code is saying like there is another opening of a p tag and this is the closing so there is like this is a p tag it's understanding like this is the p tag so it won't be displaying into your output as you can see paragraph is written like that like this there is no p tag or there is no output for this p tag so if you want to add this so you have to use like this greater than and less than symbol are your reserve keyword or reserve character into your html file so to add this you need to use this html entity so let me just tell you if you want to add a less than symbol so you need to use lt that is your lt stands for less than and to add a greater than symbol you need to use gt that is your greater than symbol so to add this you need to use this and now you can see paragraph is written like this so this tag is added now let me just tell you what are keywords basically let me just shift towards my whiteboard and let me just tell you let me just check with a pencil and type key words as you can see the heading is given so keywords are basically your reserve words so what are these reserve words this reserve words are those words which are used by the programming language or your markup language programming language for say coding in html you can consider this greater than sign this less than sign and this slash so these are your reserve character you can't use to uh, use directly these symbols to show or to display the output into your html file to add these symbols or this character we use this html entities these and like for say if you are from like a coding background if you know java so there are certain keywords such as your say int so this is the keyword in java for html you can consider this so these are the keywords which cannot be used directly if you want to add this so to add this there are certain uh, html entities so let me just quickly show you the list of the html entities as well let me just ship towards the browser so you don't need to mug up these lists there is a big list and but like later on if you will code and you will have a hands-on experience you will get to know what is this and like what are the basic list and you just need to remember the basic list let me just show you the html entities reference list yeah let me just quickly go and let me just show you yeah this is the proper list as you can see this is the 
one huge big list and you can add all these symbols with the help of html list and as you can see html entities is also used to add the certain symbols which are not there into your keyboard let's say if you want to add this symbol so this symbol is not into your keyboard now you cannot add it without the uh, directly with the help of the keyboard so if i want to add this symbol i need to just copy this and let me just shift back towards my vs code and let me just directly say a paragraph tag and this is shown or let's say displayed like this so let me just paste it and let me just add an ampersand sign before this and a semicolon so make sure all the your html entity starts with ampersand sign and ends with a semicolon this is the must don't forget this students because otherwise your html entities won't be working let me just show you as you can see this the symbol is added as you can see in the output it's shown like this as well as in my output it is there this is the same symbol so you can add multiples multiple this symbol let's say i i want to add this let me just copy this again and let me just show you let me just add a one more paragraph tag let me just copy this line and say control v and instead of this let me just add this and let me just remove this as you can see the symbol is added and it is the same symbol now that's all about the basic your html entities and there is one more interesting thing that i need to tell you that is your empty space so if you want to add any kind of an empty space you can do it with the help of html entities so let me just type and say let me just remove for now this paragraph tag and let me just copy let me just search it on the internet and copy the html empty space entity that is html empty empty character you can see let me just go to this stack overflow website and let me just refresh it again yeah let me yeah this is the basic like this is the html entity that is used to add an empty space and if you want to add an empty space this is the empty character or space and to add this you can use this symbol and add a semicolon let me just shift back towards the browser and yeah as you can see the empty space is added now like what is the basic advantage of this so if you want to add a say any kind of an empty message into your whatsapp so you cannot send directly because whatsapp doesn't allow you so now what you can do you can just directly copy this and you can just paste it into your whatsapp and you can send an empty space so this was just for your or empty message so this was just for the basic information and that's how you can send the message empty messages so this is the power of your HTML entity. So that's all for these day students. Thank you and have a nice day. I would be seeing you in the next video.